All right, with Chase Scott of the Blue Futon, part eight of the winners. I guessed it, Joaquin Phoenix and Renee Zellweger. And like I said, Joaquin Phoenix's speech, he's a very sporadic person. Like, you can just tell he's, I don't know if he's right in the head or not uh, with just how he talks and everything. Like, when he got up, he's like, stop, stop, stop. And just how he talks and articulates, he just seems like a very different, his mind works differently than everyone else's. Uh, it's a good thing, bad thing, I don't know. He states that everyone has flaws, and he even recognizes he has been a douchebag back in the day, hard to work with, kind of an asshole, and he's happy that people are allowed to give him second opinions or second chances in life. So that's good to hear. But he just seems like a different dude, man. That woo. Anyway, Renee Zellweger, her speech, she kind of rambled on, but she's the only one that thanked firemen and military uniform. So heck yes, Renee Zellweger, for actually saying that there's other people out there rather than the, the artists in the room. So that, I find that very heartwarming, heartwarming and awesome as well that she would say that. But in Joaquin Phoenix, like, he went to like the cow of putting chemicals in cows and then drinking their milk and drinking in cereal and coffee. But I mean, I'm still going to eat my cereal because I love Rice Krispies and honey bunches of oats. Anyway, all right, last one. Is it going to be 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Jojo Rabbit, or Parasite? We will see in a couple of minutes.